a Republican leader about this, um, and he said he called Donald Trump. He finally got through to Donald Trump, and he said, "You have got to get on TV. You've got to get on Twitter. You've got to call these people off." You know what the president said to him? This is as it's happening. He said, "Well, Kevin, these are my people. You know, these are these are Antifa." And Kevin responded and said, "No, they're your people. They literally just came through my office windows, and my staff are running for cover. I mean, they're running for their lives. You need to call them off." And the president's response to Kevin, to me, was chilling. He said, well, Kevin, I guess they're just more upset about the election uh, you know, theft than you are. And that's, you know, you've seen widespread reports of, of Kevin McCarthy and the president having a, basically a swearing conversation. That's when the swearing spent, because the president was basically saying, no, nah, I'm okay with this. Leader McCarthy, the president of the United States has a briefing room, steps from the Oval Office. It is, the cameras are hot 24-7, as you know. Why hasn't he walked down and said that now? I, I, I conveyed to the president what I think is best to do, and I'm hopeful the president will do it. And have you spoken with his chief of staff? I've spoken to the president, I've spoken to other people in there, uh, and to the White House as well. Who else reached out to Ms. Trump that you know of that afternoon uh, about the attack on the Capitol? Uh, I believe at one point McCarthy did. Um, uh, saw my heard my phone ringing, turned the shower off. Saw was Leader uh, McCarthy, who I had a good relationship with. Uh, he told me he was getting really ugly over at the Capitol and said, "Please, you know, anything you could do to help, I would appreciate it." Uh, I don't recall specific as just anything you could do. The, again, I got the sense that you know they were they were you know they were scared. They meaning Mr. Leader McCarthy and people on the Hill because of the violence? That he, he was scared, yes. Think about that. Leader McCarthy, who was one of the president's strongest supporters, was scared and begging for help. President Trump turned him down. So he tried to call the president's children. Republican House member Mike Gallagher also implored the president to call off the attack. Mr. President, you have got to stop this. You are the only person who can call this off. Call it off. The election is over. Call it off. President-elect Joe Biden also went live on TV to demand that President Trump tell the mob to leave. I call on President Trump to go on national television now to fulfill his oath and defend the Constitution and demand an end to this siege. There was a desperate scramble for everyone to get President Trump to do anything. All this occurred and the president still did not act. I yield to my friend from Virginia. Thank you, Mr. Kinziger. President Trump finally relented to the pleas from his staff, his family, and from Capitol Hill for him to do something more at 4.17, 187 minutes, more than three hours after he stopped speaking at the Ellipse, after he stopped speaking to a mob that he had sent armed to the Capitol. That's when he tweeted a video telling the rioters to go home while also telling him them that they were special and that he loved them. By that time, although, the violence was far from over. Law enforcement had started to turn the tide. Reinforcements were on the way and elected officials were in secure locations. The writing was already on the wall. The rioters would not succeed. Here's what was showing on Fox News, the channel the president was watching all afternoon. Back to Brett Baer with more information now. Brett, what do you have? Yeah, our Pentagon team, Jen Griffin, Lucas Tomlinson, uh, confirming the Defense Department has now uh, mobilized the entire D.C. National Guard, 1,800 troops. Takes several hours, as I was mentioning before, uh, to get them up and running. The Army Secretary, Ron McCarthy, is setting up a headquarters at the FBI. You just heard from David Spunt that the FBI is also sending uh, troops to the Capitol. It's no coincidence, then, the President Trump finally gave in and went out to the Rose Garden at 4.03. His staff had prepared a script for him to read, but he refused to use it. 
As you can see on the screen, you can see the script a stamp president has seen. The script said, quote, I'm asking you to leave the capital region now and go home in a peaceful way. The president was urged to stick to this script, but he spoke off the cuff. Eric Hirschman and Nick Luna went with the president to film the message in the Rose Garden. Let's hear what they had to say and see the never before seen raw footage of the president recording this video message. Ultimately, these remarks that we're looking at here in Exhibit 25 were not the remarks that the president delivered in the Rose Garden. Do you know why the president decided not to use these? I don't know, sir. No, I, don't, I do not know why. Did the president use any written remarks to your knowledge or did he just go off the cuff? To my knowledge, it was off the cuff, sir. Good chase. When you're ready, sir. You tell me when. When you're ready, sir. Who's, who's behind me? He's gone. He's gone around. We're all clear now. I know your pain. I know you're hurt. We had a election, let me say. I know your pain. I know you're hurt. We had an election that was stolen from us. It was a landslide election, and everyone knows it, especially the other side. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. We have to have law and order. We have to respect our great people in law and order. We don't want anybody hurt. It's a very tough period of time. There's never been a time like this where such a thing happened, where they could take it away from all of us, from me, from you, from our country. This was a fraudulent election, but we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. You've seen what happens. You see the way others are treated that are so bad and so evil. I know how you feel, but go home and go home in peace. When I got there, uh, basically the president just had finished uh, filming the video, and I think he was basically retiring for the day. Was there any discussion about the president releasing a second video that day? Not that I recall. When, the, when he finished his video, I think everyone was like, day's over. <laughs>